All right, what's up guys, this is Josh back with another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how you could actually edit your very own advanced highlights video inside of After Effects. Hope you guys do enjoy the links to the presets will be down below in the description and I will see you guys on my PC. All right guys, so I'm inside of After Effects now. I'm just gonna go through the initial process, new composition, uh, make it whatever duration you guys know the rest. Uh, but yeah, all we gotta do when we come in here is just the basic stuff. We're gonna find any sort of song. So for me, I'm just going to find, honestly, I'm just going to pick a 637 Godwin song. We'll do uh, No Clue, honestly, because that one I haven't really used in a tutorial in a while. And then, honestly, I'm going to take a couple clips here. Let's just use this one. It's a Joji clip from a while ago. And I know this clip is pretty good as well. So we're going to take these two. First thing we do, standard, drag the song and press L on our keyboard twice. And then we're just going to uh, cut down the part of the song to the part where we actually get the first kill so we're just going to come to this press uh, our marker button for me it's n i would recommend adding a key button for marker it definitely pays off in the future and then we're going to add a marker on the clap uh, if you guys want to watch a video on syncing check that out i show how to kind of get all your markers and plan out how you're gonna actually sync your montages. So uh, my main tip for that was actually transitioning on the clap after a beat. And then there's another one right here. And then there's a clap right there. So it goes like this. And then that's all we need to do, just two clips right here. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do with this clip, uh, it's pretty basic. I've showed this so many times. I probably like couldn't tell you the amount of times I've showed you guys how to do this. Select on the left go after the kill, select on the right, drag it in just like this. And the thing about this tutorial is I'm gonna go a bit more in depth into like velocity and that kind of stuff instead of just teaching you guys how to preset everything. So the thing about this is we're gonna come right after he edits the wall. So we can see this frame, there's still debris. We're gonna go the frame right where the debris clears. We're gonna press Control Alt T to actually access the time remap function. We're gonna add a keyframe at the beginning, keyframe on the kill, keyframe at the end right here select all these keyframes f9 on our keyboard and then we're just going to go into the graph editor we're just going to zoom in right here we're going to change this graph so it's slightly inclined when we go to the slowdown and then right on the kill we're going to bring this up a lot bring this down and bring this over just right here and that will kind of do a, that is a bit too much so we're just going to kind of zoom in a bit more adjust this this a bit steeper and then from there we can actually add frame blending by double clicking this box right here and I'm just gonna call this sample sample advanced just like this we're just going to save it and that's how to do a super clean slowdown velocity using the advanced method versus the preset methods that I've shown in the past from there, we're just going to go to our second clip right here. We're going to find this kill and we're going to drag it in. We're going to find the actual kill right here. Drag this over. And then the same exact thing, but this time with the ramp, right when the debris clears. So it's actually this frame right here. We're gonna add a marker on the kill and then we'll do control alt T, keyframe, 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 select all these, F9, graph editor, go in, bring this one up a bit, bring this in, this one goes down a bit, bring this one up, bring this one down, bring this one over. And this one's a bit too steep, so we're just gonna zoom in on this part right here. So bring this down a tiny bit, maybe bring it over to the side. That's a bit, not, that's not enough. So we're just gonna bring this up. And we need a bit of a slowdown. So let's just do this a bit more. That's perfect. And then we'll slow that down mute this. And that is that guys. So, so that's pretty much how I do my new velocity. It's super clean, just like that. And that is that. All right, so all we gotta do from there is impacts. 
Uh, I have some impact presets pre-made for you guys if you want to actually follow along. Check out the tutorial, or not the tutorial, sorry, the preset link in the description. Uh, from there, what we're going to do is we're just going to go over to this folder right here and just add our clean impact. I'll have the hard impact one in there as well if you would like to add that. But pretty much just adding this will instantly add a super clean impact. And you can see that that one does a nice impact right there. And then what we'll do is we'll just click off, duplicate this right here, put it on our second kill. And that is how you could actually do that. Perfect. And that. All right, so now I'm gonna actually teach you guys how to make your own buildups versus preset editing them, which kind of makes this more advanced. I kind of go, I wanna go in depth on how you could actually go about like creating your own. So the first component of a good uh, buildup is Blurmo curves. So we're gonna go onto our kill and I'm gonna show you guys. So we're gonna keep in Blurmo curves at like 0 0.7, then go after at the very end almost and change this value to one. And then we'll go just before the kill change it to one as well so right here we can do there's a bit of a zoom in but it's super linear so i'll teach you guys how to do the graph for this so select all these press f9 we're going to go into our graph editor and the graph for our screen pump normally looks best when you do something like this and do a graph something like that because it snaps in and then snaps back out and it's super clean adds a nice little movement and then another component you can add is flicker so uh, for buildups, something good is like a starting slow uh, flicker. So we'll keyframe the amplitude just before the blurmo curves at zero. We'll go to the kill, and I like to do something at like 0.7 is honestly good. We can see that it does like a nice little flicker buildup, and then obviously we'd go to the frame right after the kill, change this back to zero because we don't want it flickering after the kill. And that gradually ramps up the flicker. Or what you can do you can change it to like something insane like two and we can see that the that's a lot of flicker so if we wanted to actually control the flicker we'd uh, f9 the this uh, right here and then we do a graph similar to like our blur marker blur mo curve so it would like ramp up you know what I mean or something like this drag that over to the left that way it's a bit more built up and uh, kind of progressive and then another good component is vignette. I apply this to a lot of my stuff. A uh, big mistake people make is they have the radius come in, which makes it not look as clean. So we could do something like uh, 0.7 for the radius. We'll keyframe it, keyframe the opacity, sorry, back here at zero. And then on the kill, we'll keyframe the opacity to one. And then we'll go to the frame after, we'll keyframe the opacity at zero. Just like that. Super clean. And then from there, what we're going to do is we can do something like a monochrome, which will add another element of build up to our thing. So we'll change the mix with source to one. We'll go to the kill. We'll change the mix with source to something like 0.4. So it's slight, not fully discolored, not fully black and white. So just like this, and it will kind of ramp down. And that impact, it just ties this all together. It looks great. Um, and then obviously you just trim it down to the very first keyframe right here, sorry. Just like that. And that's your build up fully completed, guys. I mean, it's uh, you can experiment with a lot more, but that's pretty much how you can do that. And if you want to, you, you can duplicate it and bring it over to your other kill. But I definitely do recommend throwing in some variation into your montages. That one looks super clean there. And we can see the Blurmo curves right here in this corner, just as we go along, it just snaps in, you know what I mean? And it's just super, super clean. From there, I'm gonna teach you guys uh, quickly how you can add a color correction or make your own. So you're just gonna add looks. And the cool thing about looks is you got a, um, right here, let me quickly show you. So I got, you can preset your stuff after. So if you make something that you really like, uh, you can just preset it. So what I'm going to do is we're gonna go over here to post and I'm gonna quickly show you, we're gonna drag on hue saturation. We are going to add a contrast and then what we're going to do is we're going to add exposure. So if you wanted to increase the saturation, you can change this to like 120, this gives it more color. Or if you wanted to just give the entire thing less of a vibe, you could just 
decrease it to 60, for example. And this also gives you the option of hue shift. I definitely don't recommend you do that. Um, and then on top of that, you can kind of shift the colors towards a specific color through that. Contrast, you can definitely increase the contrast through this. And this is, I love playing around with contrast for my, uh, for my highlights. So I normally stick with a value like 0.15. You can never go wrong with 0.15 because it changes the entire vibe, but not too much. And then exposure, I normally change this to 0.2 just to make it a bit brightened. And then that is pretty much that. And if you wanted to, you would just copy and paste it along all these right here. And then finally, what you do is you would just add a transition, add a uh, adjustment layer right here. And then you would actually come on over to your, wherever you have your transition saved to, and you would just apply these and apply your preset and line up the uh, third keyframe from uh, my presets that are in the description with your thing right here. And I'll just trim it off on either side, but that's actually how you can do that. And then from there, you'd add your ident, render it out. But I hope I was able to kind of go in depth and touch on keyframing effects, what you can use for all that. I'll quickly go over what's in my impact. So in my impact, I got shake, I got a Y shake, a tilt shake, brightness and contrast, a flicker and a lens blur. That's pretty much that. Um, I'll have a tutorial in the description linked down below on how you could actually just do impacts by themselves and i kind of touch on individual effects and what you should be using but uh, yeah i hope you guys did enjoy this little mini tutorial if you enjoyed like comment subscribe i will see you guys in a future video on the channel peace out